gnome and welcome to the eighth installment of 10 shelf tour extravaganza videos yes we can now officially put a final number on this based on everything that i decided that i want to go over with you so today is going to be a very interesting shelf tour experience because today we're going to be looking at a couple of things from a room that you probably wouldn't expect things to actually be collected reside in but they are there and that is my collection of mugs and other assorted glassware, whether it is beer mugs or shot glasses or other really cool things that involve the consumption of liquids. I thought that this would be a really cool experience because even a simple thing like having your morning coffee or having a drink with friends can really feature somebody's unique personality if they choose to. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into the tour as we continue on. Welcome, welcome to my kitchen. Never thought I'd ever actually see the day where I would bring this to you. But today we're going to be going over some glassware. And we're going to be looking at two sets of glassware. We're going to be taking a look at some awesome mugs as well as beer glasses. And I'm really excited to show this to you guys because this is actually somewhat of a very good passion of mine. I love my beer and I also love my coffee. So let's begin. We will start out with some mugs that represent myself, and these, of course, are mugs with my name on it, and these are actually very personal to me, really some of my favorites. This one over here I got from the Warner Brothers Studio Store, and it basically is all the Looney Tunes characters in the city backdrop of New York, which is fantastic. This one is a Florida mug that pretty much encompasses everything from the Disney theme parks to SeaWorld, and this was actually given to me by a former boss. And this mug over here was a custom mug that was actually given to me by my very good friend, the notorious Mr. Beagle, and it says, Rollin' with my nomies. Over here we have some Harry Potter mugs, and one of them actually is my wife's, but I really wanted to share this. This was actually a gift that was given to her by our good friend Marissa, who has a channel here on YouTube, Blatantly Bookish. Highly recommend that channel. And it is a Hedwig mug, and it also has a removable lid. But we also have the Dumbledore's Army mug, which I had featured in a previous video featuring my Harry Potter collection, and it is basically all of the kids that you know and love from the film, as well as the Dumbledore's Army list. This was given to me by some friends, and this one is a mug that I got from the Harry Potter exhibition in New York City, which features all the Hogwarts houses. Over here we have some professional mugs, um, stuff that really reminds me of a past that I actually had in regards to where I actually got started in the working world. So this was a City Gold mug that I got for actually becoming a city member at my local bank. This is the first company that I ever actually worked for. This is John Hancock Mutual Funds. And the second company that I worked for in the world of financials before I officially went and got my master's in information technology, this is my MetLife mug with a little picture of Snoopy on it because he used to be the MetLife mascot. Over here, I am a big fan of Dunkin' Donuts, so I got some Dunkin' Donuts themed mugs. This one's really not much to look at. It's basically just the Dunkin' Donuts colors, and there's a little D&D &D on the inside. But over here, what I really like is a mug that I have that basically gives me some of the major names that revolve around the state of New York, because what I love about Dunkin' Donuts is they actually do make customized state mugs that you can actually get at stores in those specific states. So if you live in Pennsylvania, you can get a Pennsylvania mug. If you live in Maryland, you can get a Maryland mug. Wherever there are Dunkin' Donuts, you can get stuff that represents your state. So this one, of course, is all New York, and there's a D&D &D insignia there as well. And this one is actually one that my wife and I share. She found it at a store, and she was just like, I have to get this because it's just really funny, and it says, I don't need Google. My wife knows everything. And to a major extent, that is somewhat true because my wife happens to know a lot of things that no one would ever actually know. Finally, we're going to go over some popular culture-themed mugs. I've got a Beatles mug that has the Yellow Submarine versions of them that was given to me by my very good friend, the notorious Mr. Beagle, when he went to Liverpool. This was when we were actually very young, so it was a really nice gift. This is a Chippendale mug that I got at the Disney Store, and you guys know how I love Chippendale so much, so... It wouldn't be me if I didn't have Chip and Dale on a coffee mug. And this is a mug that I actually got that is 
from the television show News Radio. I ordered it online. I love that TV show. WNYX is the name of the station. And this is a replica of the mug that Dave Foley's character, Dave Nelson, actually did use all the time on the show. And over here in the back, I've got... A Legend of Zelda mug that I got from the Nintendo store. It was actually a gift from my sister, and it is beautiful because it is the Twilight Princess link, and over here it says Nintendo World. Over here is another one that is Zelda-themed. This is actually a mug that has the entire map of Hyrule on it. This was given to me by my wife. And this mug over here I got at the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. This is Abbott and Costello, who's on first. But the best part about this mug is what's on the other side. It is the entire sketch of who's on first. Written very tiny, but it's all there. So I love the fact that I have this mug because I am a big Abbott and Costello fan, and I love that sketch. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine and I, a long time ago at day camp, actually were part of a staff, and we did the whole sketch word for word for a talent show. And that basically is all of my mugs. Now we're going to move on to the beer glasses. So along with the beer glasses, we're going to take a look at some other assorted goodies within the confines of this specific cabinet. The story behind this cabinet was it was actually left for us by the previous owners of the house, and we've actually been making very much use of it. And there are some really cute little things inside here along with the beer glasses that I'm really excited to go through. So we'll basically go from left to right. So over here, I'm just going to step up. We're not going to look at the regular wine glasses, but over here we have two Hofbrau Steins 1 and 2. We've got two Guinness Tulip glasses over there in the back. We've got a Grand Cru Rodenbach glass. That's a fantastic beer. It basically tastes like sour cherry wine. Highly recommended. And this is called the Crooked Ladder glass. This is actually from a pub all the way out in Suffolk County. I got this at my friend Gary's bachelor party because it was basically just going around the local pubs and drinking and you were able to bring this, this glass into every pub in the area to just get a drink, which I thought was pretty awesome. So we're going to close that. Over here on this end, we've got a couple of beer glasses. Just excuse the Ravenclaw coffee jar. This is actually my wife's, but it is pretty cool. It's plastic. But over here, we've got two Blue Moon glasses. And over here in the back, a Brooklyn Brewery glass. And these are not for beer, but what these are are a limited 1995 McDonald's promotion. These are Batman Forever glasses. You could actually go to the store and buy them, and I got all four of them. And I love them because they are absolutely beautiful. So we've got Two-Face, played by Tommy Lee Jones, of course, the Val Kilmer Batman, the Chris O'Donnell Robin, and to top it all off, the Jim Carrey Riddler. And down here, we've actually got some shot glasses, which I actually did feature in one of my previous collection videos. Uh, not part of this segment, but definitely part of something else. But I've got the Spring Craft Beer Festival. I got this way back, I think, in 2011, maybe even 2012. Basically, you just walk around this stadium filled with local breweries and other famous names in beer, and you were just able to use it as a sampler glass for anything that they were offering all around. It was a great day. And the shot glasses here, I've got one from Hawaii. Israel, the Bort, Best Vacation Ever, Simpsons from Universal Studios Flora from my 2018 vacation to Florida with my wife, one from Casame, Mexico, one from New Orleans, San Francisco, and Las Vegas. And finally, we're going to move up to the last shelf, and we're going to take a look at my wife's two American University glasses. These were given to her for her graduation, so uh, I haven't drunken out of them yet, but these are part of the set. In the back, we've got, I'll just move this one out of the way, some Samuel Adams Boston Lager glasses. I have a set of four, and they are from the 25th anniversary of the brewery, so that's pretty awesome. And the mug that I'm going to put right back here right now is from the New York Historical Society. There was a beer exhibit that I actually went to see, and it was pretty interesting to see how beer first became a big thing, especially in New York. And of course, I had to get myself a complimentary mug that went along with it, so it was pretty awesome to see that exhibit. And these are more mugs, and I just thought it would be really cute to show them to you because these are my wife's. There is Drink Good Coffee, Read Good Books, and I put the lit in literature, and that, of course, is William Shakespeare with sunglasses.
And to top off this little tour of my kitchen, finishing up the glassware, showing to you guys, here's an R2-D2 cookie jar. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please leave your comments in the box below. I really want to know what you guys think about this specific shelf tour. I'd like to know if you have any cool mugs or any other kinds of glassware or maybe even other things like maybe a set of dishes because a lot of people do even have commemorative or collectible dishes. But anyway, I appreciate that you came back and we're almost done, guys. It's been a real experience for me and I'm really hoping that it's been just as amazing of an experience for you. I'll see you in the next one. Now on episode 8 of 10 of these episodes. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.